Hey everyone, Philo and T25 here. Today we're doing another system test. Before I get into it, I'm going to show you some of the um, alarms that I've added. And there's um, new smoke detectors added and new pull stations, so I'm going to show them right now. Starting up here is a Gentex GXS first generation strobe. Down here is a Simplex 299. Um, I forgot the model, but it's a Simplex T-Bar. And right over here, where the old pole station used to be, I move. I decided to move this pole station to over here. That's some um, Monaco Enterprises um, T bar. It's a vintage pole station, and it is moved to the farther end of the garage. Show you the other devices. Up here is a system sensor 2400 smoke detector. And up here we have a Willock MT-24 LSM horn strobe. This is set to temporal. And right here is um, the Monaco Enterprises pull station. I have two of these on the system. Another new fire alarm I've added to the system. I'll show you right in this room. I made a YouTube short about this one. It's a Gentex SHG second generation horn strobe. For the outdoor pole stations, I have um, an Edwards 270 SPO pole station. I replaced this one because the other one that was on the system kept false activating. Oh wait, I'm sorry, it's a Kitty 270 SPO. Now I'll show you the furnace room. Furnace room has um, something new added to it. Well, this isn't really a furnace room. It's more of like a oil storage tank. Up here, I've added a system sensor 2400 smoke detector. And right here is just a Spectre Alert Classic corn strip. All right, now that I've shown what's on the system, I'm gonna get into the fire alarm testing. The pole station I'm doing for this test is this Monaco Enterprises, um, or the ME pole station. I'm actually gonna pull this one. All right, three, got the key. One, two, Um, in the next system test, I'm going to probably be pulling the outdoor pole station or activating a smoke alarm. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.